Hi, this is Marcy and David Lynn, the Just a Little Further blog and website crew, and we're on the road again. We're currently in Big Bend National Park, right on the border of Texas and Mexico. When we did our research on the area, we discovered it was possible to visit the sleepy little village of Boquillas del Carmen, which is just three quarters of a mile south in Old Mexico. All we had to do was ford the Rio Grande River. Well, that shouldn't be too hard, right? Come on along and join us. You won't even get your feet wet. The U.S. Border Patrol has an official port of entry about a quarter of a mile from the river. We weren't allowed to take photos inside the building, but the officer was quite friendly and offered a lot of helpful advice, like tips on crossing the river, what we could expect on the Mexico side, and he cautioned us that if we were planning to re-enter the U.S., we needed to have our passports with us. Well, we were, and we did. Once through the port of entry, it was a pleasant quarter-mile walk down a shady path to the river. The river level was quite high, somewhere between thigh and waist deep, with a rather strong current. While wading or swimming across the Rio Grande is allowed, the villagers on the Boquilla side make a little income by providing a ferry service across the river. Wading across probably would have made for some interesting video footage, but we opted to take the ferry instead. It's not that we whipped out, it's more that we wanted to contribute to the local economy. In any way, our camera isn't waterproof. That's our story and we're sticking to it. The International Ferry Service is, as you can see, a rowboat that crosses the river on demand. Once across the river, we had the choice of walking the half mile to town or riding a donkey or a horse or riding in a truck. David chose to walk, but I chose to ride a donkey. Not because I was lazy, but once again, I was supporting the local economy. Plus, it looked like fun. Floor was our donkey wrangler and self-appointed guide throughout our trip. The half-mile ride was a little rough on my butt, and I was glad when we arrived in town and I could finally dismount. We checked in with the Mexican authorities, paid our park entrance fee, then set about exploring this tiny border town. The village is quite poor and obviously makes a good portion of its income from the 20 to 30 tourists that visit each day. The townsfolk are friendly and all waved hello. There were vendors everywhere, including lots of tiny children selling braided and bead bracelets. They all approached, but not one of them pressed when we said no. We had lunch at a small cafe that had a deck and a terrific view of the river. We agreed it was one of the two best restaurants for 80 miles in any direction, but only because there were only two restaurants within 80 miles. The portions were small, the menu limited, and the prices were a little high, but the food was tasty, the beer was cold, and the company was great, so no complaints. The only other restaurant within 80 miles, by the way, was right across the street. It seemed to be doing a better business, but we didn't get a chance to check the menu or prices. We wandered around for an hour or so and chatted with some of the vendors. The wall and Trump were common subjects of conversation. We started back and this time the donkey got a break as we opted to walk. Floor sang to his donkey as he headed back with us. It was getting hot on our return and we were apparently looking a little weak because vultures were circling overhead. They looked a little disappointed as we made it back to the river with no casualties along the way. The return ferry ride was uneventful and we made it safely back to the U.S. side of the Rio Grande. We arrived back at the Boquillas port of entry and once inside, the officer asked our citizenship and what we were bringing back with us. After a quick search of our bags, he directed us to a kiosk where we inserted our passports, and after a few seconds, a phone on the side of the kiosk rang, and a faraway voice asked us a few more questions while we looked into the camera. 
Then we were welcomed home back into the U.S. All in all, a very fine trip. If you go, here are some things to be aware of. Make sure you have a valid passport with you. An enhanced driver's license or a trusted traveler program card are also allowable identification for re-entry into the U.S. Other forms of ID may also be permitted, but check before you depart. The cost for the ferry is $5 per person round trip. The cost of a donkey was also $5 per person round trip, or alternately, you can hire a horse for $7, or ride in a pickup truck for $10, or walk for free. There's a $2 per person park entrance fee on the Boquilla side, as this whole area is also part of a Mexican national park. Credit cards are not accepted, but U.S. dollars are accepted everywhere and probably preferred. All prices are shown in U.S. dollars. Make sure to bring small bills, one and five dollar bills especially. Before you leave, ask the customs official about what items may be legally purchased and brought back from Boquillas. The Boquillas port of entry has limited hours. Wednesday through Sunday, 8 to 5 in the winter, and Friday through Monday, 9 to 6 in the summer. Be sure to check these hours before you leave. We hope you enjoyed your trip with us to Boquillas. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. If you want to see more of our how-to, travel, sailing, road trips, and trekking videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also blog and update our website regularly, so check us out at www.justalittlefurther.com. Bye for now.